Hello, everyone. We are actually at Stanley's HQ today, and we are going to be talking about coffee. Mm. I know I've talked a lot about booze, yes. but we're here to talk with John Baumgartner. He's in our product development for Stanley, and we are going to talk about the French press and how to make French press and, you know, why to drink French press. I like French press. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great way to do it. It is a good way to do and it. And as the uh, resident Stanley coffee nerd, you I was are. chosen to come and show everyone how to brew a press yes. of coffee and talk a little bit about why you might choose that versus a different brewing method. And then we can drink coffee. Yeah, totally. We I need mean, it. He's We're moving a little slow this morning. Oh, God, I haven't even had any. Yeah, it's, it's, it's time. It's, it's pitiful, to be honest with you. So let's get rolling on this. Yeah. I want to have you nerd out and... Okay. Hopefully I'll understand what the hell you're yeah. saying. Well, keep me honest. Yeah. Keep me honest. Right. We'll so, so for those of you that don't know, uh, coffee press is just a really, really simple way of brewing coffee. You basically have a container that you combine your grounds and your boiling water in. Um, and then the container itself has a filtration system, this, this metal screen, that after about four minutes of letting the grounds and water steep together, you, you press that filter down mm -hmm. and then you have coffee. So we're going to go through how to do that. Uh, especially with a coffee press, you can do it super loose uh, and not follow a lot of rules and just see how it goes, like when you're camping or something, not a lot of measurement, not a yeah. lot of nerdery, or if you know, you're, you're going to have a fancy brunch or something, or if you have friends that are into coffee, you're getting into coffee as a hobby, you can really uh, take it to the nth degree and get a scale and a, f a nice grinder and all that. So, Which is what we're doing here Yeah, today. we're going to talk a little bit about uh, all of that. And yeah. the nice thing with the press is you can, you can really have that, that uh, variety, right? Where if you're using an espresso machine mm -hmm. or some of these other brewing methods, you better stick to the rules, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay. So, simple. We've got coffee beans, we've got a grinder, we're heating some water up, and we've got our press. Yes. Are you with me? Well, yeah, I mean, you are the, you're the engineer. Okay. I mean, I have to believe somebody with a mustache yeah. like that. I mean, you know? come on. I mean, seriously. Coffee and mustaches, it's the two things <laughs> I work on the most. It's my two hobbies. Yeah, so. it's, it's actually quite enjoyable. Yeah. It is, it's good. Great. Yeah. So as far as coffee beans, you can use any kind of beans you want. I, I recommend uh, doing some experimentation and trying a variety to find what you like. Maybe mm -hmm. you already know, maybe you've already done that. Um, everything from the stuff you get at the grocery store on the bottom shelf all the way to your local roastery down the street. Uh, if you have one of those in your neighborhood, try it all and so that you kind of know what the flavors are like and you know yeah. what you like. Sometimes, you know, uh, certain coffees are better for certain uh, uh, occasions and things like that. So in our case, we've got a locally roasted coffee. We're setting our grinder to coarse. You want your grind to be coarse because if it's really fine, it makes it its way through that screen that we talked about. You end up with a bunch of grounds in your coffee and a lot of sludge at the bottom. So, so what's coarse, coarse is key. Like versus like go coarse versus fine. Like if I'm gonna just be at home with my yeah. So my grinder, like the zippy one that I just press down. Right. Right. So um, so most of the coffee you buy pre ground is is maybe like a coarse sand. That's mm -hmm. too fine. Uh, you want to get whole bean coffee and either grind it at the store and it'll have a coffee press setting many times or a coarse setting on the knob. Set it there. If you're doing it at home, you want it to be more of like small pebbles. Small pebbles. You know, like, like not a fine sand, certainly not a powder, but more like, you know, substantive chunks there. Okay. Uh, so you, you might need to experiment a little with that if you have the manual where you're just hitting the button. But if you have a grinder that has settings, you want to set it all the way coarse or within 25% of all the way coarse. So all for right. example, this grinder goes, the settings are zero to 40. We have it set right around 35. Okay. So we're almost all the way coarse, not quite, because it goes very coarse. I mean, it, if you go the full coarse setting, it might be, you may not get as strong of a coffee. So anyways, um, without too much detail there, we're going to go ahead and measure the coffee out. So there's different ways to measure the grounds versus the amount of water. Um, if you want to do camping, if you're just doing something quick, what we recommend in our care and use, which by the way, these come with all our items, take a second and read it. You know, I mean, yeah. it's, uh, we, we actually put a lot of effort into to, to making these so that you know how to use your item, you know how to clean your item, 
And in this case, we even have uh, instructions on how to make the coffee. And sometimes there's recipes in there too. Yeah, exactly, yep. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so um, you know, the, the quick and easy way is just 16 tablespoons of ground coffee into this guy and then fill it up to the fill line or just below the fill line. You want enough room to be able to get the lid on and, and that, that filter assembly without any overflow. So 16 tablespoons, you should be good to go. Fill her up with boiling or just before boiling water so you don't want it like actively boiling as you pour it. You know, 205 degrees is perfect. That's what we're set to here with our electric kettle. So that all aside, let's say you just are just going to go for it like at the can. Yep. Could we just, this is what I like to do. I like to just pour, pour it to this general vicinity. Mm -hmm. I mean, it might be a little strong, but you know, right. just this general vicinity. And like, if I just turn the the jet boil on and make it so the the pot's just boiling or bubbling and then yep. pour it in good you're like, gonna be we're fine. good you're camping so life is good no matter what you do but that'll yeah, that's actually you'll have a good strong cup of cowboy coffee they'll get you going for your hike it'll yeah. get you going for the day or get me set me straight from being hungover or maybe something. it might fix hangovers too yeah this <laughs> been known to happen when I go camping. So so that's the easy way. The, the, maybe the little more uh, nerdy way to do uh -huh. it is to have a scale. It, you know, a lot of the folks out there that are big coffee enthusiasts probably already have these. You basically then can really get a good, good measurement on your ratio of beans to water. So in our case, we're going 70 grams of coffee. Got okay. that? 70 grams. And then 1,050 grams of water. So it's super easy. We've got our scale set to zero. Get our 70 grams. Uh, I went over a little bit, so we pull a little bit out. This is oh, the nice thing about a nice the... thing about a scale is you can get it perfect. So we're, we're right at 70. We're dialed. Now we're going to go ahead and grind that. We've got our grinder set to that coarse setting we talked about. Okay. Turn our water is hot, which is good. We're ready to go. Now, what we want to do is it too is it too loud? We'll speak up. Okay. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and get this set up so that we can measure the amount of water we're going to pour. Okay. We're going to set it up. You want the loudest grinder you can buy. I don't know why that's important. <laughs> Just seems like a good idea. So we're good on the grind. You want to get your, um, get your, your press ready. We go ahead mm -hmm. and uh, clear that. And then we'll just simply add the grounds. Very, very easy way to brew coffee. Add our grounds. We're good there making a mess which is good so now we've got our grounds we've got our press we reset the scale to zero and now we're looking for that 1050 grams of water super easy we pour 1, our water 000, in which is like 48 ounces 48 ounces yep somewhere in that in that range yeah. i you know I'll, no it's probably not exact but but in that neighborhood yep so you don't want to fill it up too full because what happens if you just if you no. brim it, right? Yeah, when you put that lid on with the with the um, with the filter assembly, you're going to end up you are going to end up overflowing and making a mess, and it and then it really does ruin the coffee too because now you've got grounds, grounds over on the top of the filter, and you're going to have major grounds in your coffee. So certainly you don't want that. People, a little underfilling is better than a yeah. little overfilling. Little trick that we mentioned in the care and use, and that, and that I highly recommend is to quickly stir the grounds. They're generally floating when you when you fill up with water. You kind of want to saturate those grounds and make sure they're kind of evenly dispersed in the in the body of water. Some more nerd. Is talk it going to kill you if you don't do that? I it does. I think it's important. Just grab a camp spoon, or if you're in your kitchen, just mm -hmm. a quick spoon, because what you'll end up with is maybe the coffee flavor won't be exactly right. Not so important, but mm -hmm. you because they're floating, they're more likely to float past the edge of your filter. Oh, okay. And so you again end up with grounds Noted. in your coffee. Okay. So just a quick stir. Um, you'll get a nice crema on top or a nice uh, foam from the coffee. That's, that's crema, plenty there. Everybody. Coffee He's nerds. Heard that. Coffee nerds. Okay, so we're set to go here. Now, what we want to do is put our insulated lid on and we're going to let it steep for four minutes. Four minutes. Can okay, you set your timer? yeah, I'm doing that right now. And maybe while it's going, what I'll do is read the, read the care and use to everyone. All I'll right. recite it. I've got four minutes on the timer, everybody. Mm. 
I really wish you would take this seriously. I mean, we were brewing coffee here. This is not a dance party. I'm gonna really. have coffee, so it's a dance party. Four minutes? Four minutes. Awesome. It's so coffee time. It's time to have coffee. This is the easiest part of the whole thing. Now we just press. It's actually quite satisfying. Would you like to press the coffee? Oh, yeah, because I'm, I am, I've lost my mind. I don't know if you noticed that. Didn't notice a thing. Well, I guess it's all in my head. All right, so. I'm ready to have some coffee because it's like. Ugh, you press the coffee. Crazy here. And it's ready to pour. Just like that. Just like that. The one thing I would say if you're a coffee nerd, pour kind of slow. Okay. Don't get crazy with I'm it. Let you do that. Okay. Oh, hey, I have a question for you really sure. quickly. I see that there's an arrow right there. Right. What's that about? So this lid is designed to pour from only one part. So the arrow here tells you how to line it up with a uh -huh. spout. If, if you're going to sit for a while, you've already poured your cup, and you're going to let it sit uh, so that you can have a second cup, or yeah. maybe your friends are getting out of the tent, what you do is you turn this so that it closes off. Noted. And that keeps the heat in. So when you're ready to pour, line up the arrow with the spout. When you're ready okay. to store, Okay, so let's uh, line that let's, arrow let's up because I'm going to need some coffee. Okay. I'm going to have you pour this into my Master Series mug. This you is love an, that mug. I love this mug. It's yep. 18 ounces. Hooks me up for the first part of my day. I'm a super lucky person. My, husband's make, my husband, he makes coffee for me before he leaves. He fills this thing up and then I'm good. Awesome. But, I, but we ran out so of coffee this morning. But I knew right. you were making me some, so let's get let's to it. Let's do it. So pour it nice and slow. So if you do have uh, any sludge at the bottom there, you're not getting it. You don't want to get this back end way up in the air and pour it like the last drops out of a pitcher of beer. You just take it easy and you'll have perfect coffee. So this is opposite of beer drinking, everybody. You know, one thing I want to say about your mug that you love, right. it is literally the toughest mug in the world. I know. I don't think you can break that mug. I know, and I'm super tough, yeah. obviously. <laughs> not even your dance moves can no, break that mug. I know. And then I love the eight ounce adventure mug. Uh -huh. It's great because coffee in the morning, whiskey on the rocks at night. It's got yeah. two different lids, uh, which That's is cool. Type of cup. Yeah. yeah, so you got an insulated, fully sealing lid and a drink through lid. You can use them together, or you can just seal it up if you're taking the dog on a walk with a little cocktail at night. Uh, works great for coffee in the morning, just the right size. Undercover drinking, everybody. I know that we're supposed don't to be talking about coffee. Don't do it. Totally do it. The lawyers told me to say, don't do it. <laughs> Do it. God. All right, let's, because, you know what? Because we're Stanley, we're gonna cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the, okay, I gotta. Oh. <sighs> While she's doing that, thanks everyone. Really appreciate you taking a look at this and hopefully you get a chance to make some press coffee. Yeah. If you like any of the items you've seen here, if you wanna check them out, go to our website and uh, you'll see them there or visit your local retailer. Yeah. Great. You said it, you guys. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>